any idea what this organ Stunning. is? If you've been there and bought it with me, you probably don't need to contribute. But it is, in <laughs> fact, the stomach. You can see that it has a very strong muscular outer surface. It has openings for the food to come oh, through. Oh food to come through with a, a band of muscle that holds it closed. Uh, they kind of tore up the other opening, but there it is. So one in, one outtake. Now, if you look at the difference between, this is a pig stomach. Cow stomachs actually produce something called tripe, honeycomb tripe, and it's got a very, uh, a lot of surface area, unlike the pig stomach, which you can see is Don't smoother. Don't they have like five stomachs? But they have four chamber, four stomachs, very good, four chambers, and that's why you see the distinct difference between the ruminants, which is the cow, and the pig, which is an omnivore, as we are and eat lots of other things. What would our stomach look like? More similar to the pig stomach. It's a good question though. Okay, so very muscular. You can see the evidence of the blood supply. And again, I do encourage anybody who can, even momentarily, to touch it, appreciate it. It is not gross. It is a wonderful, amazing did. thing. I understand. It's an amazing thing. You know, whether you think it's God, whether you think it's intelligent design, what? whether you think... God. No, no. Shh, shh, shh. Whether you think God built us, whether you think intelligent design is part of it, whether you think it's evolution, it's a miracle that it all works. And the more you appreciate it, the more you'll revere it and take care of it. So, both your own health and I other animals. God. No. Do you understand now what yes. I mean? Okay, good. So, that, like, this is stuff? the stomach. Katie has said, Mama, can we eat this? I'm not sure I want to eat it after all you guys have touched it, now that I think about it, but... Who wanted to eat it beforehand? Katie. Oh. Um, Okay, I told now you this is time. really amazing because it begins to illustrate the point. <laughs> Any idea what this might be? And some intestines. It is, and you know what? We can cut into this because that, that was a good concern. What would we usually find in the small intestine? Bacteria, Ew. right? Bacteria would be <laughs> shh. Bacteria would be a problem. You're going to smell sulfur. That's all it is. It's sulfur. This is thoroughly washed. This is ready to eat after you cook it, so it's not dirty. Oh, great. It's not dirty. But what I want you guys to see is, now this is obviously in pieces. It's okay, hang in there. Okay, there are two parts to it. Olivia, you had asked, how does it not get all torsion and twisted up, right? Okay, here is the sac of the intestine itself. See this? This is, this is a fat, <laughs> this is a fat lining. What actually happens is, as it's tucked into the body, Ew, this fat... <laughs> Stop it! No, no, this is important. Like Look, shh, 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 shh. This fat actually is all interconnected, and so it holds it together in a bundle. Now, we opened up the intestine before, and we're a little disappointed to find... Where is my... There it is. We're a little, don't come put your fingers in while I have the scalp out, please. We were a little disappointed to find that we don't see extensive um, villi in here. You can see a little bit. It's a little rougher, right? Can I feel a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. A little rougher. <laughs> no, it's not. But not significantly, right? It's all it's something on me. <laughs> that is something on you. <laughs> it's so, so slimy that it still feels slimy. What are your questions? And again, imagine 23 feet can of this is all bundled in? up efficiently and neatly inside you. That's pretty incredible. What? Do you want to do? Yes. Yeah. You guys can get, get in there. <laughs> Ew. Ew. You need to do that. It's so funny. Oh, okay. Okay. High five. Chill on the <laughs> ear. <laughs>